Pokemon Go is helping businesses increase their sales. Yeah, players are going into stores to catch Pokemon, but staying to buy something else. Nine Your Size Priscilla Casper spoke to business owners to find out how they are taking advantage of the increase in foot traffic. It started as Pokemon games for Game Boy in 1996. Two Pokemon cards a few months after. But 20 years later, it's a multi-billion dollar franchise. TV shows, movies, now Pokemon Go, an app gaining popularity worldwide. I just feel like it's rekindling that 90s kid in me. Oh, yeah! <laughs> wait, 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 is there another one? Since the game launched last week, players are walking far distances to become a Pokemon master. I've done about 40 miles, <laughs> 19 kilometers up to 20. The game has pokey stops all around town, showcasing historical landmarks. Most near businesses driving people into those stores to look for Pokemon. When you're forced to go out, it's just kind of like a little trigger for your mind. Oh, there's something shiny I might like, or like, oh, I, I definitely need to get this done. The owner of Showtime Cards has noticed an increase in Pokemon merchandise sales the past couple days. We owe a lot to Pokemon. It actually saved our store in 99. We just, we opened in 98 and we're struggling in small card shops, struggling. 99, it was a Pokemon boom. But this boom is unlike any he's experienced. We're selling out every day. So we've been selling Pokemon cards for a long time. We love it, and here it is, 15 years later, back. We're calling our distributors like, hey, we need more Pokemon. <laughs> we need to get it here quick, you know, because people, we're seeing it more than ever. As of today, Pokemon Go is the number one downloaded app with over 21 million active users. Businesses have noticed an increase in people in and around their building looking for these Pokemon. These companies are taking advantage of that opportunity. Shot in the Dark gives 50 cents off a purchase if you flip the Pokestop coin outside the cafe and show the cashier the Pokeballs you collected. I had to wade through 20 people that were out front. It was all kids, you know, and uh, they came in and they bought coffees, they bought sandwiches. Similar discounts happening all over Tucson. Another pokey stop leads you to the racetrack. We have had groups of kids come in um, from either the skate park down the street, get air, um, walking in and trying to hunt for those Pokemon. So we're trying to engage them and try and grab them and put them in, in carts and give them an opportunity to race. The integration of you know pop culture and keeping your business alive and evolving together, you know, being involved with the community is quintessential to any business. However, playing this game is a big concern for safety. The police department hopes you follow these tips. And while walking, don't stop abruptly on a roadway while playing. Don't go anywhere that you don't feel safe. Don't go into private businesses or residents without permission. And be aware of your kids' activities on the game and set limits. Priscilla Casper, KGUN 9, on your side.